Here is your friendly pharmacist. Today, I'll be talking about Duvastone, which is the very end because you definitely get value with from this video. If you don't know Duvastone, it's a brand that contains dihydrogesterone. Dihydrogesterone. <laughs> that is a synthetic form of progesterone. Progesterone, progesterone is one of the female hormones that is very helpful for getting pregnant and for maintaining pregnancy, especially at the early stage. So recently, this drug, Zofastone, was prescribed for a patient. And when, I, when she came to my pharmacy, the pharmacy where I work, I didn't have the drug, so I sent her to another pharmacy. So when she got there, you know, it was mentioned that the drug is for infertility and... She's preg she was pregnant. So she came back to me. She was like, ah, pharmacist, I came to look for those that gave me this drug. Why would she be giving me a drug that is for infertility when I'm pregnant? I said, okay, calm down. She now said, explaining to me that she has had a series of miscarriages and now she's feeling this serious abdominal pain and back ache and all that and all that. And then she, she, she said what she explained to the doctor and the doctor placed her on this drug for some weeks. I advised her that this drug has several indications, several uses. Firstly, it can be used for abnormal or irregular periods or menses. It can be used for premenstrual syndrome. It can be used for endometriosis. Endometriosis is simply when the lining of the uterus starts to grow outside the uterus. It is very painful. But when you administer this medication, the Vastone dihydrogesterone, it helps to like, you know, stop that whole process of growth outside the uterus. Thirdly or befortly, next, the drug can be used for people that have habitual miscarriage. At the early stage of pregnancy, progesterone is very important. Some people have low levels. Some people have hormonal imbalance. They call it... Um, okay, some people have... I don't want to use jargons in this video. Some people have hormonal imbalance. This medication can help to sustain that pregnancy at that early stage to avoid miscarriage next this drug can be used for infertility with luteal phase disorders at the luteal phase luteal l-u-t-e-a-l phase of your um, cycle progesterone is very important so this low progesterone can affect fertility that's why this drug may be administered for people that have that type of infertility. So when you're taking this medication, you can take it with or without food. When taking the Vastone, you may experience some side effects like nausea, like you feel like vomiting, you may feel headache, you may feel breast tenderness. All these are side effects. Some people talk about, it's best to let you know the side effects. It's not like you would um, experience them, you understand? Because we are all different, like I always say, we have different makeup. But you should know the side effects. There are so many of them, there are so many side effects associated with the use of this medication. But whatever you cannot endure, let your prescriber know. If you have liver disease and you're on this medication, it's very important to discuss with your doctor. I don't know about taking this medication with alcohol, but generally I used to just encourage people, don't take your medication with alcohol. Take it with water. Don't chew it. Just swallow this medication whole. And the tablet is not that big. I'm sure you can see the size on the screen. It's not that big. So swallow it whole and make sure you maintain the exact time you take that medication. Not like you take it in the morning today, tomorrow you take it in the evening. Mm -mm. There's something called AUC curve. Let's not talk about that. There's a level the drug should be at at every time so make sure you're taking the drug and if you miss a dose don't take it not don't take a double dose what i mean by that is if you're meant to take the medication by like 5 a.m and you missed that 5 a.m and um you probably remembered around okay 5 a.m today and the next dose should be 5 a.m the following day 
you probably remembered around 3 a.m. that you missed the first five years in the day before. You can't take it by 3 a.m. and take it by 5 a.m. and say, okay, mm -mm. just if it's almost time for the next dose, just take the next dose. But if it's not yet, if you just missed it by like, say, uh, an hour, maybe you usually take it 5 a.m. and you remembered to take it by 6 a.m., you can take it then. But if it's almost time for the next dose, don't take it. Just wait, wait and take the next dose. So, use your medication as prescribed. You should know what one thing I want you to know in this video is that this medication has several uses. It's even used, I forgot that, uh, I forgot to mention that it's also used in hormone replacement therapy in those induced menopause, not like they went into menopause um, naturally. So, this um, hormonal medication can be combined with estrogen in those kind of menopausal women. Thank you so much for watching. As always, from Claire Kears. See you in the next one. Bye.